regular season in the Big East and time to start gearing up for the Big East tournament next week in New York City. The Red Goose Scarlet Knights winless on the road. Maybe they change that today, led by Rob Hodgson as they go for a 500 record. Going over Wildcats has been disappointing, but Howard Brown has been their most consistent player this year. Welcome, everybody, to a Big East matinee. On the marquee, the Rector Scarlet Knights against the Villanova Wildcats. Hi, everybody. Dave Sims along with George Blaney. Good to have you with us for Rutgers Ball Club. Now, while not having a dominating season by any stretch of the imagination, they have done some things that they can hang their hats on, George. Rutgers done a nice job in all different areas, uh, particularly uh, in the scoring defense and, and shooting percentages, and, and just have done a nice job uh, get, getting the, the good things out of them. Their linchpin guy has been Rob Hodgson, who does a little bit of everything. Rob Hodgson, one of the better players in the league, certainly a versatile player. Post you up, can take play the toughest guy on defense, pass the ball and shoot the threes. Having an outstanding year, Dave. For the Villanova Wildcats, you know about the personal losses that they had last year from Tim Thomas and Jason Lawson, and etc. Still been a disappointing year this year. Tough to lose that many players, but also a disappointing year. I think I think Steve Lapis thought they were going to have a much better year. This is a big game for them, trying to get to seven seed. Three guys that they have depended on this year: Brown, Celestan, and. Allen, they put up solid numbers. Not great, but solid. I think Harold Brown been their most consistent player, and these are the three guys they've got to build their future on. Today's game, the winner will get the seventh seed in the Big East Tournament next week in New York City. We'll see how things shake out right after this, live from Villanova. Today's game is brought to you by the new Dodge. From cars to minivans to trucks, it's about change. The new Dodge. First Plus Financial. At First Plus, we're working for you. And by Combo Snacks. Hunger's the enemy. Kill it. Get stuffed with combos. Senior day here at Villanova. Scarlet Knights about to take on the Wildcats as the seniors on the ball club are being saluted. Take a look at the starting lineups. Jeff Greer, you'll like him, the freshman from New York City, had a big five-point effort against Syracuse. Some big, a uh, couple of big field goals to knock off the Orange. Kevin Bennett has done a terrific job, 12 and 13 this year, taking over the Rutgers program. He's known as a program builder, Trenton State and Ryder for Villanova. Howard Brown has kicked his game up a notch. Last nine games, averaging 14.8 points per ball game. Going with Penn, Allen, Medley, and Celestan. And for Steve Lapis, this year ends a streak of four straight 20-plus win seasons, as well as a four-year run with double-figure wins in the Big East. Wildcats at 10 and 16, 7 and 10 in the Big East. And now let's take a look at our Dodge keys to victory, George Blaney. Well, for Rutgers, you certainly have to continue the hot shooting. Uh, they've, they've got to shoot from the outside, and they've got to make them. And then Rob Hudson has got to continue to be leading them. He's done so much for them, and he's got to keep doing that. For Villanova, I think you, you've got to make sure that you've got to rebound the ball. That's been their, their biggest dif difficulty, rebounding the ball and inside uh, defense. And then they've got to establish and maintain intensity right from the beginning of the game. Being senior uh, game, it, it, they should not have any trouble with that part of it. Our officials for today's game will be John Cal, Will Bush, and Joe Vigna. Series history, Wildcats have won the last five. Last meeting was last March. And the last time Rutgers was victorious, against Villanova is when both clubs were in the Eastern Eight way back in January 27th, 1979. 64-55, Rutgers over Villanova. For Rutgers, Villanova, Boston College, and Connecticut are three teams the Scarlet Knights have not beaten in Big East play. But Dave, Rutgers has got that other uh, monkey on their back as they haven't won a road game in the Big East this year, too. So that's uh, th this will be a good game for them to try to get that off, get off the schneid on that part of it. Interesting when you look at Rutgers being winless in road games in the conference, it's been by an average of 9.6 points per game. And that's really got to annoy them. Big East 7 standings. As we get underway here, Rutgers in a log jam at the bottom half of this division. But as we've been saying, Dave, and as we'll keep talking about during the day, I think uh, this game 
really keys towards who gets that seventh seed. And the seventh seed gets you a little bit easier first and second round games in the Big East tournament. Getting underway a few, few minutes later than usual because of the senior day festivities here at Villanova. Senior players for the Wildcats and senior staffers being saluted at midcourt prior to the game. Zephy Penn will even get the start today, number 33, one of the more popular players to play here at Villanova. Dedicated young man who got his degree last year and is an ordained minister and does a lot of work with youngsters in the Philadelphia area. Be interesting to see how both teams play, but I think both teams will come out man-to-man -man and try to get after each other defensively right from the beginning. And then it'll be uh, the tempo is going to be uh, who's going to grab the tempo. If, if Villanova can can pressure and pick the tempo up, uh, I think that'll that'll probably help uh, Villanova because they're a little bit more athletic. Rutgers coming in off a stirring win last Saturday at the rack, 62-58 over Syracuse. First win over a ranked team. Since they beat Las Vegas, Nevada Las Vegas back in December of 91 and Villanova coming in after a win, a loss rather, at Pittsburgh 65-61. Rutgers is man-to-man -man right from the beginning. Again, uh, Villanova running a lot of motion offense. They've been doing that more than uh, anything. And Howard Brown misses the tip. Howard with the tip again. Here's Effie Penn. Gets the first bucket of the day. That might show you something right from the beginning, that, that Villanova's on the boards right from the beginning. That's what they've been having trouble with uh, all year. Showing a little pressure here. Billet coming off a disappointing one-point performance against Syracuse, looking to break out today. Well, Johnson. Billet being guarded by Celestine. Here's Johnson, they post up Clark inside to count the basket. Just a great pass by Earl Johnson. Good post up by Clark. They will take a look at it. Uh, uh, they swing the ball from Hodgson to Johnson. And then a great post up here by Clark and a terrific lead pass. Get the three-point opportunity. Clark's had a solid year. He's worked his way into double-figure scoring the second half of the season. Leading rebounder. 5.9 game. Kind of a wily veteran uh, more than anything. He's really been a warrior for Rutgers all year. Good push up by going over. They've been doing that pretty well, and I think uh, uh, Rutgers needs to make sure they get back in transition. Side of two here in the early going is Zephy Penn, and he hits a three. So Zephy Penn, two for two from the field. That's his 12th three pointer of the season. I think since Steve Lapis has gone to the smaller lineup, uh, Villanova has uh, gotten much better shooting the threes. Here's a steal and a turnover. Pan created that steal. It went out of bounds on Rutgers. It'll be Wildcat ball. They lead it by three. A win here would really be a good momentum going into the Big East Tournament. To down point. That's so important. Well, there's no question. And, and the, the drop off, you could go from 7th to 12th to, to 13th if you don't win this game. So, another three pointer. Medley can't get that one. Rear, rear comes up with the loose ball. There's Hodgson in the corner. I think rebounding is going to be a very big key in this game. Which other, other team can control the backboard? Hodgson can't get it. Flying in is Medley. First, we get the rebound. Pats in the run. They lead it 5 2. Going over pushing the ball very well, Dave, early in the game. Good matchup to, to watch right here. Hodgson on Harold Brown. Brown drops it off. He was right inside, turns it over, and then Zephy Penn steals it back. And Zephy Penn has made a bunch of positive things happen for Villanova here in the early going and getting his start. Pretty good defense uh, here by uh, Rutgers. Uh, Zephy Penn uh, taking it, uh, going to take it real hard to the basket. Good help side defense. Greer steps up, get the steal, but then Penn stays alive and stays right in it. So does Brown, and, and Penn winds up getting fouled. Jeffy Penn, two for two. The rest of the team is now one for five on that make by John Celestan. And it's an 8-2 lead for Villanova. Get those threes early going. It gives you a lot of confidence. Got to get it inside a push beforehand. Looks like senior day has pumped up Villanova early, and I think that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to come out and have that intensity uh, right from the beginning. They certainly look to seem to have that. 
Cardinal to stay man-to-man -man on the out-of-bounds play. That was on Malik Allen, his first is Clark Wheel. Got another one. And Allen can't get a break. Malik has had his foul problems this season. And already, he is in deep foul trouble and leaves at the 1735 mark. Here's another look. He just, just gets beat right on the, on the top and, and, and then makes a bump. And uh, certainly, Clark, uh, good offensive move. Back to live action. Johnson left it. Hodgson got to be a little bit more ready to shoot that ball, I think. Johnson makes this good penetrating move. And Hodgson, and they wipe it out. They get Hodgson on the push-off to get free. Okay. So that's the first foul on Rob Hodgson. Terrific ball movement, but Hodgson just had a little impatient uh, and pushed off before he got it. Very, very good ball movement by Rutgers, though, that time. So Malik Allen on the bench. He's fouled out four times. He's got two fouls here. Picked it up in less than three minutes. Johnson with the steal. Knocks it ahead. Celestine with the steal. Look at this. We've got three guys on the floor. Terrific offense. Terrific uh, hustle by both teams. As a coach, you got to like that. Anytime you get guys going that hard, uh, it's really great to see. Look at this. Going out of bounds, and they, they get a third guy. Medley comes in and knocks it out of bounds. 8-2 lead for Villanova against Rutgers. Rutgers looking for its first road win this year in conference play. They're 0-8. Can Hodgson save it? No, sir. Rutgers a little bit like Villanova also has to make the perimeter shots to be effective. And uh, so far, uh, Villanova has done a good job about uh, keeping Billet under control. Uh, and they're 0 for 2 from three-point line. And Villanova already 2 for 3 from three-point line. Villanova on the season, 11th in field goal percentage, while Rutgers is third behind West Virginia and Connecticut. Howard Brown, guarded by Hodgson. Biggest who came into the game for Allen, way outside his normal range. Well, Clark just did a good job of pushing him out. Jeffy Penn, yes. followed by Biggest. There's the difference if Villanova will get to the backboard. Billet goes hard with the left hand and banks it home. Hard drive by Jeff Billet. Don't you love how competitive Billet is? Watch, watch, just he just puts his head down, drops his shoulder, and gets himself to the basket. And come. Here comes Zephy Penn. A strong move to the basket, but a great follow by Biggis. Real long arms, terrific follow. And here. Billet uh, on the other end uh, just comes back uh, again, puts his head down and gets hard to the basket. Billet goes to the line, 82.8% this year, rounded off 83. Howard Brown leaves the game with his second foul. The three-point play by Jeff Billet for Rutgers. Here's Billet with the, the strong move, great left hand off the board, three-point opportunity. Billet goes to the foul line, it's almost automatic too, Too bad. Dave. Rebound story. Villanova's been getting it done. Six to one on the board to be part of their 10-5 lead. Biggest looks so much bigger than Clark, does he? Oh, it's unbelievable. Biggest got a little guy and he passed it up. He had Johnson on. Here's Celestan. And that's wide left. Kept alive by Zephy Penn, but Hodgson takes over for Rutgers. Villanova getting some very good looks. Nice shield off by Clark. Freed up. Johnson for the drive. We've got a lot of Rutgers fans here in the building tonight or this afternoon. I think I think so important for Earl Johnson to get off early. Uh, kind of seems as Earl Johnson goes, Rutgers goes. He's he's a terrific athlete. Uh, Kevin moved him to the point guard position this year. It's a new position for him. He's been very very good uh, uh, for a lot of games, but he's had a couple of down games. And when when he's down, he's Rutgers is not as good. Got a timeout on the floor, 15-29 remaining. First half, Earl Johnson going hard to the hole right here for the Scarlet Knights. They trail by three. Inside twice, uh, once for a basket and once uh, Hodgson got a foul on what would have been another basket. Here's Johnson penetrating, kicks it back to Sam Sanders. Sam Sanders is an exciting athlete. Uh, it seems to me that Freeman and Sanders, Freeman from Connecticut and Sanders from Rutgers, the NFL ought to be looking for them. Ryan Lynch in the game. He came in for Howard Brown, who left the two fouls. Celestan tried to get something going in the paint. 
Uh, Medley, Jeffy Penn, biggest seller, Stan and Lynch for Villanova. Sanders, Clark, Hodson, Billet, and Johnson for Rutgers. Who's biggest? Turns, faces, and way short. Looked like he got away with a foul that time. Clark got hit, hit on the arm. And Lynch, quick release. Again, Villanova doing a great job on the offensive glass. Uh, Lynch. Uh, and Lynch really coming up a little slow. Shorted there. Here's a real good pass. Looks like a little bit of a foul right here on the arm. But again, uh, great hustle by uh, Penn and a good pass to Lynch. And, and again, attacking the glass uh, as Villanova has done all day. Uh, very, very aggressive Villanova. Second foul on Earl Johnson. I had recruited Brian Lynch uh, very hard, and uh, he's one of the great kids you'd ever want to meet from a terrific family. And uh, played at CBA, and uh, just a real terrific kid and a very, very good player. Jeff Greer in for Earl Johnson. Lynch at the line, just under 60%. Makes it an 11-7 ball game. Villanova on top. Dave Sims and George Platy with you from the pavilion here at Villanova. Hodgson being guarded by 10, blows five, goes to the glass and gets fouled. You just have to love Hodgson's uh, desire and uh, how smart he is. Uh, father was a coach, uh, knows how to play. And here we are on, on uh, the left side of the basket. He gets a good look, takes it strong, nice low, hard dribble, gets a good angle at the basket. Biggest comes over to help, but uh, commits the foul. Talk about another guy who's pretty much automatic at the line, 84% third in the conference behind Richard Hamilton of Connecticut and Lave Lavelle Sanders of Seton Hall. They've got three guys in the, in the, in the 80s, uh, Rutgers does, uh, in the foul line. That's a great thing to have. Every time you go to the line, you know you're going to make eight out of ten. That's it. Or more than eight out of ten. Cuts Villanova's lead down to two, 11-9. I think we felt all along this was going to be a terrific game, and uh, it's shaping up that way. Celestan guarded by Billet. Biggest backed his way in, had it knocked away. Here come the Scarlet Knights. Brian Greer in the corner. Clark posting up a skip pass, and I think Sanders was setting the screen, and Neville saw, saw the ball, and I think the pass might have been to Sanders that time. Got to see the ball the whole way. Kevin Bannon upset by that turnover. That would make you a little bit up. Yes, it would. <laughs> 17 turnovers is what Rutgers averages on the season. Lynch started by Sanders. To Penn. Great pass. Vegas is wide open, and he lays it in. Clark gambled and lost. Vegas is getting terrific position, and uh, again, Steve uh, Lapis has always been a guy that's gone inside, particularly when they really need baskets, and uh, the inside play has been a little inconsistent for Villanova, but certainly Vegas and Allen have the potential to be terrific players. Clark giving up 65 pounds to Vegas. Clark battling inside, uses his quickness, and he draws the foul. That is some good hard work and terrific determination by Eric Clark. Clark did a good job of just coming up with that ball because Celestan came from all the way on the weak side and came all the way over to help, and Clark was able to uh, not give up the ball. Watch, watch from the weak side. Good position here. And here comes Celestan all the way over. Doesn't get the steal. Clark keeps it and, and makes a really good move for the basket. Eric Clark, real solid defensive player, good shot blocker, leads the ball club with 36. C.J. Cowett comes in for Rafael Biggis. Now they really get small. Uh, you, you're looking at uh, really all small forwards and guards uh, for Villanova. So Cowett is 6'7", yeah. Jeffy Penn 6'6", six, six, Lynch 6'6", six, six, and then you get the guards Medley who's 6'1", and Celestan is 6'3". But there's not an inside presence, and then that's what they have when they have Allen and Biggis, so the fouls are hurt. Medley gets right by Greer into the lane and gets pushed. <laughs> Greer picks up the foul, his first. Team foul story, Rutgers has four, Villanova with six. Six early fouls, that's a lot with 13 minutes to go. Uh, Want to be careful with that. Medley on the inbound. Gets it to Lynch. Knocked away by Greer. Solid team defense that time. Rutgers brings it up. Hodgson had a look, stepped in, and turned it over on the travel. 
if you're Hodgson, when, when you were at Seton Hall and you watch Hodgson, then the impression is the kind of kid with his skills that probably should get 17, 18 shots a game. Well, he's one of those unselfish players that doesn't search out his shots, and uh, he needs to understand that, that for Rutgers to be successful, he's got to search out some shots. I've seen him turn in some good games when he has really been assertive, as Medley was on that play for Villanova. Again, terrific ball movement by Villanova to get the ball all the way reversed, and then Medley had a good lane to the basket. Sanders, not an outside threat. Here's Hodgson against Cowett. Quicker than Cowett, goes to the glass, lays it in, and they wipe it off. But it's the second foul on Hodgson. This is always that controversial play about how far out uh, the guy can come to, to step up and take the charge. Uh, it looked like Zephy Penn got out well away from the basket. A very good defensive play. 15-11, Villanova leading. Here in the regular season finale for both of these clubs. With this kind of a small team, they just kind of run an open motion uh, offense, get some real good looks. Lynch shakes free and makes it. The Lynch shooting 40% from the field makes it a six-point lead for going over. Lynch is one of those all-purpose kind of players, can do a lot of things, and when he's confident, he's very good. Another oh. fine defensive play by Zephy Penn, but he stepped on the baseline. Jeffy Penn is a good defender. Here we get Clark showing, uh, showing some real good post positions, but watch Jeffy Penn. Watch how hard he's working against uh, Clark. Big, much bigger guy. Gets over the top and gets a nice deal. Steps out of bounds, but terrific effort by Jeffy Penn. Alvitas Tanis coming in for Rutgers. 6'11", 235 pounds sophomore from Lithuania. He replaces Rob Hudson. A kind of a slow start to his career, and uh, now all of a sudden he's uh, he's starting to give uh, Kevin some real good minutes, and uh, that's what uh, Rutgers needs. Uh, they, they've gotten a little bit bigger now. You go to Nice and Clark here, right at the basket. Gets it. immediate results. Dividends paying off. Four-point lead for Villanova. That's only the seventh shot attempt by Rutgers while Villanova's got 14. Well, you got to remember Villanova's uh, fouled them a number of times, too, so. Cowett lost it. Lynch bails him out. A couple of Jersey guys going after each other. Billard and Lynch. Duffy Penn and Cowett. Ten on the shot clock. Medley will hoist it up from there. Hits a three. But Jermaine Medley, just 33% from deep. That was the Villanova lead to seven. That was like, I need to take a shot now, even though it's not a good one, and it goes in. Villanova three of five <laughs> from three-point range. Pressure is really picking up. The intensity is terrific by Villanova. Look at Medley on the floor. Look at this. Look at this. All over. Love it. Billet. Tennis in the corner. Clark. No reset. Great effort by both teams here. Now we got a push off by, by Tennis. Again, fronting the post. You get the... Uh, you get guys to front the post, it's very difficult for the offensive player not to foul. 11 one to go, first half, Villanova by seven here at home against Rutgers. Back here at Villanova. Wildcats leading 20 to 13 here in the first half. This is Big East basketball live from the pavilion, Villanova PA, Dave Sims and George Blaney. Good to have you with us. Regular season finale for both clubs. Dave, Everybody even. will be turning their attention to the Big East Tournament next week. Quick look at some stats here. Rutgers 0 for 3 from deep, while Villanova has prospered. And the rebounds, just as Steve Lapis wanted to, 8 to 2 the advantage. And Rutgers has to shoot well from the outside for them to be effective. So that's going to be a key thing to look as we go along. Rutgers quickly in a, in a zone. Uh, looks like a 2-3 match. Marvin O'Connor in the game. Here's Effie Penn from up top. Real strong on that one. Eric Clark with the rebound for Rutgers. Always nice to come out of a timeout and change things a little bit. And, uh, Rutgers gave them a little different look. Now, next year, Jeff Greer will get to the basket on that drive. Yeah, he had an open. It was interesting, yeah. too. He had the jumper after a couple of dribbles. Clark going hard to the hole. Just like that. That's what that's what you learn after you're a freshman. You learn to go to the basket and take it hard to the basket. Greer had an open move and uh, gave it up, but uh, fortunately, uh, Clark uh, had a better move. Rutgers to within five. 
2-3 matchup. It's important now that they move the ball and use the middle of the court. UJ Cowett strong on that one. Tenis with the rebound. Came a little quick. So Rutgers has gotten two possessions out of the 2-3 two, two, zone and gotten two uh, rebounds out of it. Very effective. Rutgers 5 for 5 with two point shots. 0 for 3 from long range. As Tenis is fouled going to the basket. Seventh team foul. We're getting some very good post play by both teams, uh, and, and Tanise just making a real good offensive move here and, and forcing Cowett to foul him. Uh, it's, it's going to uh, uh, the big guys, both uh, Clark and Tanise, are doing a real nice job for Rutgers now that going over is small. Tanise, not a good free throw shooter, just 51%. Five point, one of the few non-USA uh, players that's not a good foul shooter. Most of right. them are great shooters, and he is a good shooter. With Lynch from way outside, tipped up and in by Cowett. Now check that. Now they're calling it a triple. John Cowell on this side of the basket, this side of the court at the bottom of your screen, said that that was a three that wow. Cowett never touched it. Wow. I thought he clearly touched yeah. that one, and Kevin Bannon's looked, got a, I think a pretty good like beat. Looked like Looked like... Let's take a look at it again. Three-point shot by Lynch. Really a little bit of a quick shot, but a good move. Hits the rim, bounces straight up. Ah, sure looked like he got a piece of that to me. <laughs> and that cylinder. And if the ball is in the cylinder, then it's offensive goaltending. So uh, officials say that he didn't touch it, but uh, from the replay, it might have looked like he got a piece of it. Interesting to see how that uh, goes as this game goes along. Killing at the line, as we mentioned. Very good free throw shooter, the junior out of uh, Middletown, New Jersey. Steve Lapis, it has been a struggle for him. Well, Steve Lapis has done such an outstanding job here uh, at Villanova. And had, had a great team last year. You know, when you lose uh, Alvin Williams and you lose Timmy Thomas and you lose Cornegay and you lose Lawson, uh, that's, those are huge hits. Those guys played enormous minutes last year, and uh, it, it's it's tough to come back the next year. New post pay it player is Simon Ogunlesi, wearing zero for Villanova. Brett, Jeff Greer, his second foul. So both teams shooting the one and one right now. That was the seventh team foul for Rutgers. We're in one and one awful early in this uh, in this first half. So nine any, minutes to go. Anybody wants to get the ball to the basket can make a lot of points uh, in this game. Celestan, 71 percent from the free throw line this year. Been playing well the last four games, averaging 17 points. He's really one of those players, Dave, that, uh, in my opinion, still hasn't found his position. He's, he's played a little bit of uh, two guard, a little bit of point guard, uh, and he's an, he's an outstanding quickness, uh, outstanding kid, uh, very good shooter, and probably as good a defensive player as they have. One out of two, Clark with the rebound. And Rutgers down by seven. Greer way outside. Drops it off to Tenise. Fake, the running hook is good. Nicely done by the big guy. Now, about 10 games ago, Tenise was playing with absolutely no confidence and would not have even attempted to make that move. It's nice to see that kind of confidence. Bellistan beats the defense, blocked by Sam Sanders, but they're going to call that goaltending. Sam Sanders exploded out of nowhere to get that one. I think against the matchup zone, this is what you have to do. Celestan makes a great dribble penetration, gets to the basket. Uh, certainly goaltending on that play. Good call all the way. But Sanders, Sanders get up, uh, terrific he? athlete. Uh, as I said before, I, I think you ought to, NFL players, uh, coaches ought to be looking at him. But he uh, brings so much energy to the, uh, to the game for rugby. 6'4", 200 pounds. Here's Clark in traffic, and he got fouled. Clark and Tanisa are working so hard in the post. Just doing a very, very good job of getting great post position. Watch again how, how he backs, uh, he'll back it in a little bit. And again, turn his body as he catches the ball and then try to go up strong. Good help by Villanova, but just too late. You can't give a good uh, offensive player that kind of position, that low. It's been interesting. Uh, uh, Greer and 
Billet have been fairly quiet for Rutgers uh, so far. They're not taking a lot of shots. And, uh, but it's, it's because the ball's been going inside and also because going over has fouled so much. Clark makes the first. Valestan takes a seat. With Medley coming back in. So freshman backcourt for the Wildcats. It'll be Medley and O'Connor. We're joined by Penn. Lesson. You always say in February, freshmen are no longer freshmen, but two freshmen in the backcourt in the Big East is a tough thing to, to do. Again, the matchup uh, is, uh, should uh, help uh, Rutgers in this situation. Clark's two free throws. Close the gap. Logan Lessie, boy, bullet pass. Nice catch by O'Connor. Five point going over lead. Howard Brown back in the game. Medley has deep three. Wow. Sam Sanders, how about that rebound? Sanders over everybody. Billet nice drops it off to Tennis. And Billet for three. Too strong on that one. Who's going to save it? It's going to be going over ball. Got a timeout on the floor. 7.44 to go. Kevin Bannon's Rutgers ball club down 26-21 here at Villanova. Wildcats lead it by five here in the first half. 7.44 to go. Coming up later on today in the Big East, Notre Dame at Providence, West Virginia on the road at Miami. And the Big East tonight, St. John's at Connecticut. Games in progress in the Big Ten, Michigan with a five-point lead in the US ESPN USA Today Top 25. Later on, another important game, Stanford at Arizona. And the biggest of the day, North Carolina at number one, Duke. Well, Dave, I don't think we can make that one, but I think we can get up to the Connecticut game. What do you That's think? That's it. <laughs> Burn some rubber on the turnpike. How about this? Villanova shooting 10 of 20 from the field. And on the season, Wildcats are 43%. That's 11th in the conference. But a foul against Rutgers. Villanova's been more aggressive, and I think that's... That's what Steve wants. Uh, again, against the zone here, you're going to see some pretty good ball movement and a great pass inside to Zephy Penn. And again, the attacking of the goal and good offensive follow right away by, by Allen. So uh, Villanova's doing everything they want. They've got the score up a little bit higher than I'm sure Rutgers would like at this stage. Rutgers would, I think, would like to keep it a little bit lower. Zephy Penn, 76% at the line. Redshirted last year. Valuable six-man a couple years ago. Very versatile player, Dave. Can do a little bit of everything. Uh, play a lot of different positions for you. And look who got his hands on the ball again. <laughs> his pen. Here's the guy that's got to get going a little bit, Harold Brown. Here's O'Connor. Thought about it. And luckily, Medley is there to bail him out. Howard Brown in the corner. Zephy Penn, deep three. A little short. Rebound, Sam Sanders. Yeah. Sanders has done some nice things since coming into the game. Johnson picked off. Allen back in the game takes over. Villanova not hesitating with the three. They're really just, as soon as they're showing them, they're letting it get ride, and that's a that's good sign for confidence. Howard Brown, quick trigger on that one, and he knocks it down. Howard Brown, with his first field goal of the day, gives Villanova an eight-point lead. 22nd timeout for Kevin Bannon and Rutgers. Watch, watch Brown as he cuts across the middle here. This is a, a really good pass, and again, good, good spot for Brown. He gets, he catches, turns, and shoots all in one motion. Good ball movement. Brown comes right to it, catches, turns, spots up. Terrific offensive play. Here's a telling stat too, George. Villanova's got eight points off of turnovers. Rutgers does not have any points off of Villanova turnovers. In fact, Villanova hasn't uh, turned it over in the last seven minutes. Well, Villanova's done a very good job in transition defense, too, which is where Rutgers likes to score, particularly Billet. He likes to get those open threes in the in the transition area, and they've just done a terrific job of shutting that out and shutting that down. In terms of the Rutgers backcourt, some of their, their leading scores, Hodgson has one shot attempt, Greer one, and Billet two. Inside, Tennis powers home and beats Allen, and well, Villanova cut a break because that could have been Allen's third foul. He's three for three, Tennis, since coming into the game. That's where it looks like Rutgers has got to attack uh, with, with the foul trouble and uh, not seem, not being able to uh, stop them inside. Celestan, nice pass inside. Blocked by Tennis. Sanders takes over. Sam Sanders, weaving his way through, gives it to Clark for the jam. And Rutgers shot some life. At the six-minute mark, they close to within four. 
It's kind of been the way Rutgers has been all year. Very resilient. Uh, looks like they're going to get down, and then all of a sudden they make a couple plays. Sanders, Sanders really energizing them. On the board, steals. Rutgers has six fast break points. High arcing three. Sanders with another rebound. He's got four. Fine, fine Phillips. Phillips open. They had him open that time. And a hand checking call against Medley. Look at these numbers put up by the Scarlet Knights. Eight for eight from two point range, 0 for four from three. Well, I guess you better keep going inside. That's it. Rutgers number two in the conference in three point shooting to Connecticut. Rutgers at 37.4 percent from behind the arc. The three point shot is a funny shot. It, it lo always looks easy. Uh, what normally uh, makes you a good three point shooting team is if you shoot uncontested three point shots. Uh, and a lot of times players don't know the difference between uncontested and slightly contested. <laughs> L. Johnson. Trinity Catholic of Stamford, Connecticut, born in Port Chester, New York. One out of two. Clark kept it alive. Oh, Denise back tap. Great play by Denise. Billet with Billet room. Good luck. And there it is. And we're tied at 29. And that was all caused by Denise making a very smart play. Very uh, back tap, a missed foul shot. Keep keep possession. Get Billet an open look. Well, if this was hockey, you'd give an assist to Clark <laughs> and assist to Denise. Allen. And Denise got some body. They'll send Malik Allen to the line. Rutgers on an 8-0 run. Sinise is another one of those guys that really is a little bit bigger than you think he is. He's got very long arms and big shoulders, and uh, give him another year, and he's really going to fill out. He's got some very good offensive moves and certainly knows how to play. Malik Allen. Play just... Two minutes and 25 seconds to start the game. Picked up two quick fouls, and he's back in now, and he misses the first 72% from the line this year. I think going into the season, uh, you would have felt that Allen and Biggis were going to be two huge uh, staples for Villanova, and I think they've been a little bit inconsistent. You bet. Uh, there's no question that Malik and, uh, and Biggis both have talent and both uh, certainly are a big part of this program. And both will be averaging the uh, just eight points a game as Tanise loses it out of bounds under pressure from Medley. So another turnover. Yeah. That's number eight for Rutgers. This is where you look all the time and you know that uh, that big guys just, just don't put it down. But they keep doing it. Big guys want to be guards, and guards want to be big guys. Never fails, right? <laughs> athletes want to be musicians, and musicians want to be athletes. I've been impressed all, all game by the position that both uh, teams have been getting inside. He's out this down one again. But Taken it, away by Johnson. He can't believe a foul is called. Same thing there. Maybe the big guy ought not have the ball on the floor. Watch this again. A good help side defense. Uh, Got a little bit of a ticky-tack foul. Significant because it's Johnson's third foul. Pretty clean steal, that look. The 10th team foul, double bonus in effect right now. I think the Rutgers coaching staff was a little bit upset with that. Uh, Kevin Bannon and uh, Todd Kowalczyk and Danny Hurley certainly uh, not, not liking that call because it gets Earl Johnson to the, to the bench. So he leaves and Greer returns. Well, Johnson leaves with his third foul. One. And Hudson returns to 31-29 is the score. I think we ought to keep an eye on uh, on that. Uh, with four and a half to go, how much uh, Johnson being out uh, will mean. It puts Billet back to the point, which is where he's really very comfortable. I don't, it shouldn't be a drop off. And Hudson's well, going to have to get some shots, too, for him. Sanders feeds it inside. Allen, big number right there. His third foul. So Malik tried to reach around. And Allen, his third foul. One of the things that Hodgson is smart enough to do, though, is, is knowing that by that the ball is getting inside and getting inside so successfully and getting Villanova in some foul trouble and or getting the big people out of the game for Villanova. So Hodgson's being very patient. Uh, he has a good understanding of that. And uh, while we all would like to see him shoot the ball more, uh, he certainly has a good feel and understanding of what ought to be done. 
Clark, the senior out of Rockford, Illinois. He's had a solid first half, hasn't he, Dave? He really has had a nice half. Five out of six from the line, three for three from the field. Here's Cowlett back in. He's another guy that his arms are a little bit longer than his body indicates, so he really plays bigger. The, the old Red Arback uh, theory of you should, you should measure people from their, from their feet to the, the uh, raise their arms all the way up and measure them that way rather than from their feet to the top of the head. Mm -hmm. Solid point. Mr. Russell had rather long arms, didn't he? And <laughs> McHale, too. That's right. 12 points for Clark. One point lead for Villanova. Here's Celestan, that's a three, didn't get any iron. Brown is there, in trouble. Challenge shot an air ball. Staying on the offensive glass. And it's Rutgers ball. Scarlet Knights at 3.57 to go, have a chance to take the lead. That's our story here from Villanova. One point advantage right now, and a shaky one for Villanova. Season finale for both of these clubs. And check out the back tapping here to keep this ball alive. Set up Billet for three. Again, terrific uh, movement by uh, of the ball, and and uh, finally got Billet an open shot. He needs. He doesn't get shots on his own. He needs to get them uh, either in transition or out of ball movement. Billet with eight points. Rebounding. We talked about this at the top here. It would be a big. Factor in this story. First eight minutes, Villanova out rebound at Rutgers eight to two. Since then, it's been Rutgers eight to three on the boards. I think that's the resiliency of, of Rutgers, though, uh, not giving in and uh, again absorbing uh, Villanova's emotion of Senior Day. Greer with the runner gives Rutgers its first lead of the afternoon. It seems like every time Rutgers comes out of a timeout, they really do a good job. Uh, they moved the ball exceptionally well that time, and Greer got it going to the basket. Scarlet Knights with a one-point lead on a 12-3 run. Howard Brown way upstairs, can't get it. Zephy Penn with another rebound. Filling over, shooting that three very quick. Mm -hmm. They've had five straight misses. Charging foul against Celestan. Billet stood his ground nicely and drew the foul from Celestan. Just watch the way uh, Billet uh, moves his feet. Not real fast, just get great position. Maybe a little late, but he got he really got good position that time. Second foul on John. Rutgers on a 12-3 run. Rutgers shooting 71% right now from the field to Villanova's 41%. That's the steal. That should energize Villanova a little bit again, get the people back in the game. Villanova back on top by one. Sanders up top against Brown. Watson pops out. And a three-second violation, so two wasted trips for Rutgers. Rutgers had good position both times, uh, and they, they just didn't get the ball into Clark or Hudson. Uh, both times at good position, and then Clark got caught with the three seconds. Rutgers with... Ten turnovers in the first half for Rutgers. A lot of turnovers for Rutgers. They haven't scored off the Villanova turnovers either. There's Howard Brown with another look. Can't get it. Put back Zephy Penn. Zephy Penn on his final home game. Got eight points. I think that steal by Lynch got people back in it. Got the crowd back in it. And now, uh, now they get an offensive rebound. Hodson will let it rip for three. A little short. Rebound Lynch. He catch by three looking for more. Medley, and a little hand check by Clark, he knew it. His first. This is where uh, Villanova can be a little bit more athletic than Rutgers when they get in a little bit more transition, move it quickly. Uh, here, here we have uh, some uh, shooting percentages, uh, 10 for 15 for, for Rutgers, great 67%. Villanova got more shots up, 30 shots, got double the amount of shots. That's amazing. Well, it's offensive, offensive glass. And, Headley at the line, where he's an 81% shooter. It's tops. I always Ooh, like the uh, Villanova ball club. I always like more shots than less shots. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I think that's what the energy does, uh, Dave. When you have a team that's, that's energized and is willing to go to the, the offensive glass and, and uh, get on the floor for loose balls, you turn up a lot more shots. 
Villanova on a 6-0 run since Rutgers took that one-point lead. Billet. Yeah, boy, she got away, got away with one. No question. Too strong. Sanders tried to put it up. Sanders with the follow. Missed that one, too. Sanders, can he save it? No, sir. So all of this happening with Earl Johnson on the bench. He left at the 436 mark. And Villanova up by two. I'm sure Rutgers was concerned about that when uh, when Johnson went out. Because they're down by five right now. Jeffrey Penn outside. Medley, here's Penn going for double figures, and he's got it. He's Jeffrey Penn with ten points. Having a terrific afternoon. Rutgers seems a step slow on defense. Villanova's really gotten good looks, even, even though they haven't shot it terrifically well. They've gotten great looks and great shots. Greer baseline goes hard. He got fouled. Terrific back cut. Ken thought he had a clean block. Watch the great move by Greer here. Billet holds on, makes a good pass. I think he got him on the arm a little bit late. Don't forget, stay with us. The National Car Rental Halftime Report coming your way. Look at the Big East Wire. A feature on St. John's and what they've done this year. And, of course, stats and highlights from the first half. Jeff Greer misses the first. This is a critical time for Rutgers. They don't want to be down uh, too many points at halftime. One out of two for Jeff Greer. Under a minute to play. 22nd timeout called by Steve Lapis. Good time out there. Uh, Steve will set something. Uh... Make sure you're with us. Coming up at halftime, National Car Rental Halftime Report. Lots to talk about. The biggest tournament coming up next week in New York City. Speaking of New York City, St. John's has had a terrific turnaround this year. Fred Frischella, leading candidate for Coach of the Year. Tommy Emmerker will get a lot of consideration as well. And stats and highlights coming your way here from the Pavilion at Villanova. Big East tournament, there's nothing better. New York City, uh, get all those teams in there. It's 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 a great week. Jeffy Penn's got five offensive rebounds himself compared to just three for Rutgers. A couple key possessions here for uh, for Rutgers, I think. Yeah, they don't want to go down more than six at halftime. If they can keep it at six or less, uh, that would be real important. Off the timeout, Rutgers goes back to the 2-3 match. 10 on the shot clock. Medley checks it. O'Connor in the deep corner. Here's Lynch. Deep flyer from there. He hit it with four on the 20 on the uh, shot clock. Four Lynch. on the shot clock. Lynch on fire. Just having a really, really good half. Shot that with no thought. Just, just went up and let it go. Rutgers. Biggest deficit they've seen this afternoon. One second left. Oh, got it. Oh, he hit it. He hit the triple right at the buzzer. That's a clutch shot. That's the kind of player he is. He, again, knows what you have to do at different times in games. That is a very big field goal. And, and Three-pointer by Jeff Billett. This is a contested three. Watch how good, good defense that he's all over him. Falling back off one foot and nails it. Very impressive finish, but Villanova challenged, trailing by a point. Open up a six-point lead at halftime. Stay with us. The National Car Rental Halftime Report coming up right after this. Reynolds. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. Back here at Villanova, Wildcats leading 43 to 37. Dave Simpson, George Blaney with you. Now it's time for our first half highlights brought to you by Walker Muffler. And one guy, George, who was really active in his fourth start of the season was Zephy Penn for Villanova. Just that good versatility, uh, good move right here to get to uh, an open area, around the foul line area, and, and excellent follow through. Zephy Penn just having a real nice first half. And I know as you as a coach, I know a, a guy that you like today was Eric Clark, 12 points on three of three shooting. Not bad, Ardita's first half stats. Look at the 58% by uh, Rutgers. Not a lot of shots, Nine, 17, uh, 19 shots they only took. Uh, but the uh, turnovers are 10 turnovers uh, to uh, five turnovers. Not uh, not real good. And a points off, 14 
for Villanova as opposed to none for Rutgers. A lot of big factors in this game. Ben scoring 6, 15 to 6 as well. Villanova in the final analysis leads by 6 here at halftime. Second half action coming your way from the